uh, group so far this spring? Uh, they're practicing hard. All the guys came out ready to compete. Um, I just like my rope top to bottom. You know, I got about 10 guys in there right now, and they're just doing a good job practicing hard. Carson's obviously one of the big additions. Uh, what have you seen out of him so far? What does he bring to the table? Um, just a hard worker, similar to Zach. You know, practice the same guy every day. Um, I like this, the way he competes. Um, so I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Anthony Atkins is doing the same thing too, so I'm pretty excited about him. One big thing we've noticed is Keegan working with the receivers for the most part. Is, is that a cross training thing, or are you yeah. anticipating him being back with you? Yeah, guys? he'll be back with me. That's just cross training with spring, so you can learn uh, the outside of the How would you describe uh, Carson's running style? Um, he's pretty nimble for his size. So it's a, he's a big back, pretty nimble, good feet, runs hard, has a stiff arm. You know, he's just a talented kid. I wouldn't necessarily put a style on him because I really haven't seen him live. You know, I don't want to see live before I do anything. But the, the, the attributes that he has are really good. From your experience, what's the difference between Power Five here and, and a mid-major conference like he came from? I mean, he had some great numbers, mm -hmm. uh, but how much does that translate to what's going on here? It's just all in the kids. It's not necessarily just because he came from Power Five. He's a talent, you know, you can see it. He's a strong, fast, works hard, worth ethic, you know, so I think, uh, I'm not sure. I think COVID kind of pushed him kind of power five at that time. So I think if he didn't have that or the injury he got, I think it was like a sophomore year in high school, he probably would have ended up power five school. With all the hype around Carson, uh, KJ's getting a little bit lost in the fans' shuffle a little bit. What are you seeing out of him? Because he doesn't seem interested in relinquishing that first spring spot at all. Oh, TJ is he's, he's consistent for maybe a sophomore. Just to see what he did in those last two games of the year. Cal game came up strong, did a great job. Then really showed up in the bowl game, you know, when he had to. And then he's been coming out here and leading the group this whole time. So, you know, it's going to be a good one, two, three, four punch, whatever we have. But I'm excited about him. What do you think he's made the biggest strides on uh, just this offseason? It's just a little bit more explosive. Maybe. Yeah, just putting his body together, really, you know. Um, lost a little bit of weight, so he looks faster, more explosive. And that's kind of what he wanted to do, so it was good that he set a goal and met it. When you got a quarterback like a, like DTR was, and, and, and you've got a couple guys here that are in that same mode a little bit, that can run, it's a running threat. How does that make a running back's role? Easier sometimes. Well, they got to defend zone read if, that, if that's a play that we're running at that time, you know. So it just it makes it 11 on 11. I, I like that. You know, you can't just key on the back. The quarterback can pull it and be effective. So you know, we're um, all the, the quarterbacks are all getting the reps. They're doing a good job. Like most part, all the position groups are competing really well. You know, I'm just good, glad the guys are somewhat staying healthy and definitely. I think nine bodies on the OL today. How do you? Um, when you're coaching your guys, is that something you talk about? Like, you just got to worry about what you're doing, you know, because there's guys who probably won't be playing, mm -hmm. doing a lot of blocking. Yeah, but still, you know, there is no wrong block. That's how I look at it. You know, I don't care who's up there. You gotta, you gotta make the block right. Deliver, deliver the linebackers to the line and, and go. You know, there's no. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we we try not to use that as an excuse or anything. You know, if, if guys go down and we're in the season, the next man's up. So, from a coaching perspective, does that make it harder for you to evaluate at all, like your own guys, when they're because there's stuff that happens in the game where somebody can come free. You know, so it's just it's football. Stuff's gonna happen. I, I kind of like to see how guys react to the adversity. How do you deal with it? Are you coming back in there like I'm with this and this is going on, or are you just like I gotta bite down and be better? So, you know, it's just good that the guys are, are buying in and, you know, the old lines did a good job just having however many guys they had. I didn't hear anybody complaining or just kick through. So that's a, that's a positive thing. Look at your uh, kick returners. What are you seeing out of that group? Um, explosive group, like I said, Jay Mike, Fast Kid, Keegan, um, Logan Loya, um, Carson, TJ. So I'm excited about the Cam Brown, Titus. So, is it getting a little more competitive as the, as we're getting to the last few days of spring? I mean, we saw Kyle Ford and a couple of DBs out there getting a little chippy and they're holding them and he wasn't happy about it. So. Well, once, you know, people are getting comfortable with the playbook and they're starting to, now the competition can 
kick up some now too, you know. So once you're still trying to learn the plays and get going, it's hard to compete the way that you want to. So when guys are out here competing, you can see they've gotten comfortable with the playbook and that's really the next step. How's it been going with uh, Colson? Uh, we've seen, looks like he's just more comfortable out there. Just, uh, but he's been, a, this is a full year now. He's been a running back, so the strides that he's making are amazing. I'm just, uh, like I said, the sky's the limit for Colson. He, he, he's a good, uh, not a one trick pony, he can do a whole bunch of things. So I'm just glad he's on our side. And then in the uh, off season, you had the, was it associate head coach title added? Uh, what what comes with, with that title? Um, same thing, I guess, you know, just be here for the guys, really. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know technically, but I'm, I'm here. That's where I wanted to be, so. What's up? Thanks for coming. Thank you.